What's up, Mortgage Coach community? I am sitting down with Jake Jacobson, the CEO and founder of Fairway Mortgage, uh, one of our biggest customers, absolutely my longest customer. I can't think of anyone, Jake, that has uh, you know been in the Mortgage Coach community longer than you. Do you remember how long ago it was when you started using Mortgage Coach? Uh, I think we started using total cost analysis. We started using probably like 97, 98, 99, right in there. Yeah, that's by, that, by the way, that's when I started mortgage coach. Yeah, so, uh, right were then, you, I know were we were you for open house, you know, meetings and stuff like that to show people options. So, yeah, I think right then. Yeah, I think you might have been in the audience at Sales Mastery when I had, I think it was the second time I spoke there. and. I think I sold 117 mortgage coaches and you might've been one of those, you think? Could have been, cause that is what I think back then that's what we all use delivering, you know, value add services to open houses. People still wanna know, you know, what their payment is and you know, how much it's gonna cost them and compare a 30 to a 15 years, you know, information, not that they're gonna use it one way or the other, but it sure looked impressive. Yeah, no, no doubt. And then uh, of course the meltdown came and we really became an enterprise first company and I, you are our first enterprise customer. So thank you for that. I'm super grateful that you uh, invested in that relationship, you know, coming out of that meltdown. So, so I'm asking people that know this business better than anyone. I want to, I have three questions and I want to land on top opportunities. So like that's the closing chapter of this conversation, but I want to, I want to just kind of go through some of the, the data, some of the stats and facts that put us where we're at in the market that create opportunities for us. So when I say that, what are what are some of the leading stats and facts that you're paying attention to that might lead to some opportunities for the mortgage industry? Well, you know, I have done this since 1984. There's always opportunities. It's a mindset. And you may have to go a little further mentally than maybe you, you thought um, that you've had to go before. But when you have market shifts like this, you, there's always people that'll do great. And there's always people that um, will not do great. And it's really just how you think first, because you have to be willing, as you know, to try different things. Maybe you didn't have to do last year or the year before. And, you know, it's like any company, I'm sure all your clients have people they model. And, you know, I mean, you don't learn how to shoot free throws by talking to Shaq. You go to the people right. that are fast at shooting free throws. So um, there's people in every company that do a great job and, you know, Hopefully there's platforms that people can model and learn from those people. And, you know, so really it's just a shift mentally. And that's where it starts for all of us. It's just the mental shift first. Um, there's always business out there. I mean, we closed 72 billion as a company last year and that was 1.4% of all the loans in the country. It's nothing. So right. you know, who cares? it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it is amazing. I, I still, I think it's as true today as it ever has that we are our own biggest competition, whether it's a, a, a loan officer or whether it's a lender, if we could just beat ourselves every month and every year, then, and I think that's kind of your model. I mean, is that, you know, how you play? You no, I think about it. It, it. We've all done this a long time. So if Rocket Mortgage last year did 336 billion, if that was 7.4% of all the loans in the country, there's plenty of loans out there. Right. Now, sometimes, you know, I'm sure, you know, you're, you're, the people you talk to, the challenge is not overthinking it. You have to be disciplined. You have to have consistencies. We all do as an athlete or as a business person, you have your consistencies and you just do it over and over and over again and shift mentally a little bit and try new things. But, you know, that's just, that's a discipline. It's not, I mean, right. They, I mean, we've been doing this long enough to know it, it shifts all the time. That's probably what part of what we all like about it. The yeah. Good time, no doubt. Relax and the bad times don't last forever. So you just have to kind of understand both those sides um, and keep rolling. Right. So what about trends that you're you're tracking? You know, there's, you know, like the digital transition that's happening is a trend, but, you know, there's other trends. What are some of the trends that you think loan officers and leaders, you know, lenders should be focused on or just trends that you're paying attention to? Well, I mean, there's, there's trends as far as, you know, inventory, there's trends as far as, but I, you know, and this may sound a little bit corny, but we can get too focused on all these trends and then not do the work. I mean, if, if you do the work and each market's different as far as what that is, and you may 
everybody's different. Every loan officer has different strategies. Every loan officer, if he or she's good, they believe they're the best that there is. And every company has those people. If you model some of the people that do the best that there is, you can adapt that to any market if you want to, but it takes work. You got to go out and meet the people. You got to go out and do stuff. I mean, you got to, I mean, and, and every market has special little niches and, you know, a lot of it's just going out and meeting people like we used to have to build those relationships. I know it sounds corny, but just do the work. I, maybe I'm old school, but I mean, to me, there's so many trends that you can watch that it can paralyze you to the point that you don't do the work. I. Yeah, there's, it, it, again, anyone listen to this, you're, you're talking to one of the most successful leaders really in the history of the mortgage industry. And, and you've also, you know, the culture you've created, the platform you have, you know, it upgrades people. So, and, and I think that's part of your, your secret is you're, you're just always focused on beating yourselves. And, and so I, what I'm hearing from you is, well, there are trends and there are things like that. You're, you're, you're not paying that much attention. I mean, uh, well, you're paying you, attention to an extent. If you do, you can be paralyzed by the trends. But then if you think the other side, just, I just think about this. I, I'm reading it now for the second time. And not because of the number, but because of the perspective. If we did 72 billion as a company last year, and that was 1.4%. Rocket did 336, that was 7.4%. There's plenty of business out there. But I mean, no matter what the market is, there's plenty of business out there if you're willing to go do the work. What's the work? You gotta dig into communities. How do you compete with a rocket? How do you do it? You know, can we all can we all do the technology to compete with them technology-wise? Maybe yes, maybe no. But you know, in, in markets, and everybody's different in how they approach it, sure. But uh, it's still about relationships to develop in your marketplaces. You better be providing some value to people. And that providing value, value at service can be different things for different markets and different people. But you better be doing something different every day. You better have different strategies and different thoughts and keep trying and keep expanding and then use those as, and be disciplined to do it over and over and over and be consistent. You know, so it's, it's I don't know. Um, I'm 61. So, so let's get time. into, I don't know, it, it, you say, well, dude, you're 150 years old. How do you know? We've watched this industry for years, have good years and bad years. I mean, look at, I mean, 1994 we went from six and a half to nine and a half. I mean, everybody thought the world's been in 1994. I just, I had a little internet issue there. So sorry about that. Uh, so let's get into strategies and opportunities and, you know, clearly, you know, modeling top producers doing the work is a strategy and, and it probably is the single most important strategy to be successful in this market, in any market, but what are some other opportunities or strategies from your perspective? Well, I think it starts with your mind. You have to be willing to try things you haven't tried before. I mean, Snapchat videos, do you do that to listing agents really to talk about your buyers? I mean, I mean, you say, do a snap. Some would say, I'd never do that. And some would say, well, where does that work? And how does it work? So we got to remain curious. And we got to, I'm not saying everybody should do that, but I'm just saying it might work for somebody. So the first thing is to remain curious and to always be focused on learning and not thinking we have it all figured out. Agreed. Tell me, tell me what your thoughts on this. I mean, I personally think that every local referral-based mortgage professional should be making their, their database, you know, the people they do business with, their number one priority. And Wally Elderberry has done an incredible job of that. Uh, you know, I know a lot of, you know, fairway professionals that, you know, that they're, how can I deliver the best experience to my database? How can I love on that database? Total cost analysis. What, what is your thoughts on that? And when you're giving advice to people on database? I'll model the Wallys, just listen to what he does. I mean, the top producers, that are really good, most of them are willing to share. You know, I'm yeah. interviewing Wally soon and- uh, Yeah, just ask him and say, you know, if you have the time now, the challenge is would, would people actually do the work that it takes to do what he does or this person or this person? The challenge isn't, there's plenty of opportunities. There's plenty, what you do, your platform, what you create through your, you know, through the YouTube channel, there's plenty of stuff. The question is, are you willing to do the work? 
that's the choice. Now, the, the, you know, the challenge is the industry's made a lot of money the last couple of years. So are people willing to do the work this year? Because the work that from two years ago may be different than the work today. So the question is, are you, are you willing? Some will, some won't. You know, it's like anything. So, the, the, you know, like we said, going back, it sounds probably a little cliche, but it starts in your mind. Because culture is one of those things that you, you focus on every day. If you think you got a good culture, that as soon as you say you think you do, it's old news. You better focus on it every day. What, and that starts with how you think. Now, what are your thoughts? I mean, you've done in just an incredible job of building a mortgage coach culture where people, you know, use mortgage coach. I mean, I don't know if there's anyone that has more what we call grandmasters, where they've done over a thousand TCAs. And, and we've done analysis over, you know, many times where it gets better conversion, it increases, it, it's, they have less price exceptions. Why, why do some loan officers do it and some loan officers don't? Well, it goes back to Tim Brahim, and you remember this back when he was doing 600 units a year, and you'd ask Tim, did you do mortgage coach on every deal? And you know what he say, Dave, he said, every deal. The discipline, the consistency, you learn from a Tim Brahim to be disciplined all the time. It does separate you from the competition. It does because it looks fantastic. And even if you're comparing a 30 to a 15, even if you're comparing a 2-1 buy down now to a 30 fit, I mean, there's different things now, but it just separates you from the competition. And, and Tim was, as you know, one of the, the, the best ever. He, he, just no. I mean, he, you know, I, I mean, I was pretty good, but I, there was never a better, just uh, he uh, was so uh, consistent. Yeah, operator. He was a disciplined consistent and you, you know i'm repeating again apologize for that but if you asked him dude every time dude every time every single time how many units you closed last year 600 how many units closed your report that 643 every time every time discipline consistencies now if, if we say that would somebody actually do that you and i both know the answer is no okay so that's where it starts would you are you willing to do the work and be consistent. And, and I would say of all the mortgage advisors that do over um, 100 million a year, the the single number one thing, it's they've got a best practice and it's consistent. And then they, they upgrade to the point you made earlier. Like when there's a new idea, they don't do every idea. It's like Wally's been very disciplined year after year to say, you know what? I'm gonna add financial advisors this year, crush it. I'm going to add insurance agents, whatever it is, there's a strategy and he masters it. He's consistent. So I, I hope, you know, executives know what, what about this? Let's close out with any advice you have to build a culture where, when there are new best practices, you know, mortgage coach, total cost analysis, any advice you have to, it could be a branch manager to getting loan officers to do it and to build into that. Like, what is your uh, formula for that? I think it's where we have advantages today, Dave, that we didn't have back in the days when, when we were originating. Everybody shares stuff, everybody shares. So right away, you just go model people. And some you'll collect with and some you won't, you know, but I think now you just have to, I mean, there's so much information available through Mortgage Coach or through this venue or this d d vendor. You can, you can fast track if you're willing to kind of take your ego out of it and just say, hey, I'm gonna learn from this person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna model this person. I'm gonna do exactly what this person does and then consistently do it. You, you know, there's information. It's not hard to get access and people are willing to share. Now back in the eighties and you know, nineties, how did you ever know what people did? Nobody knew, but you know now. So now it's just a matter of just modeling and having the mindset to be willing to do the work. I know it sounds simplistic, but it's just kind of like as an athlete, you just got to keep getting better and better and better and better every day and working on your craft and trying to get better and be the best that you can do at what you do. Agreed. Well, guys, I've done enough of these interviews now, and they've always come to a similar place, consistency of best practices. Uh, you know, I know the punchline of the article I'm writing is going to end with Make your database your number one priority. Uh, use Mortgage Coach. Use Sales Boomerang to get alerts. Use tools like HomeBot. If if you can love on a customer, and 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 also predict when they're going to do the next loan, so that you're there, you're you're going to win. Any closing you thoughts you have on that in terms of ideas to crush it with your database? 
Well, there, there's 15 ideas that are unique to, let's say, this company or this company or this company. Everybody believes they have the best way. But, you know, Dave, you just got to listen to people like you because you interview enough of the top producers that tell people the best way. And that's that's what I would do. I would I would get into your YouTube channel and and dig into all the people that you've interviewed that show them show people the best way. I mean, I haven't originated a loan for some years, so it's like, who cares what I say? You know, it's what are people doing today? You know, that that's where the influence is. And there's some there's some amazing producers out there today having great years right now. Right. You know, Model them. There you go, guys. Well, well, Jake, thank you for uh, you don't do a lot of public interviews like this. I always respect how you how you grow, how you compete. And uh, thank you for going on record and uh, helping me with this project. Anything else you want to say before we wrap it? No, dude, just thanks for the opportunity. Hope you're doing well and, and have a great day. All right. Hey, guys, like this. If you're if you got value, share it with your mortgage friends. And Steve, don't leave. I'm going to 